Camille, tell me uh, what's going on uh, in the art market dedicated, no, in the art market concerning the women artists. Well, it's a growing art market. The values are uh, suddenly going up. So I think women artists are globally a uh, good investment, which is something I said uh, when I opened L in 2009 already. I had that in mind. The exhibition at Centre Pompidou. Uh, sorry, at Centre Pompidou, which showed for the first time the permanent collection, 100% women artists. So it's a growing market. The values are going up and they're very uh, linked to the information. Most of the time and for most centuries, there was no information on women artists. So the, val the value was very low. Now that we have more and more information, more publication, more exhibitions, the value is going up. And it's interesting to observe, for example, the, exam uh, the example of John Mitchell, because for each show of John Mitchell, the value goes um, up and is very uh, proportionate and very uh, precisely linked. And one of the reasons I created the website AWARE is to um, make available the information for free so that uh, curators, art historians, art critics, collectors, but also students or anybody can really uh, tap into the website, use the information, show the artist, acquire the artist and participate in the global recognition. And of course, the market is part of the recognition of women and men, both. And you observed until in the 20s in France, which was the epicenter of the art market in the 20s, there's a lot of unknown artists, like Cubist women artists. Yes, the 1920s um, are an interesting moment because it's a moment where women and men were relatively equal, at least that's the way they lived. Mm -hmm. We talked about Marie Vassiliev, we actually located in the old studio of Marie Vassiliev. She was a well-known Cubist artist. Uh, she was very close to Picasso, a good friend of Matisse. Um, had a small market at the time, but in the 1920s, the most famous artist and the most well-sold artist was Tamara de Lempischka, which I think sold better than Picasso and for better prices. She already had an American market. She had Hollywood stars buying her work. I love her work. I think it's really interesting. But Marie Vassiliev, for example, for example, is still a quite cheap artist, although she's super interesting. So there is this um, variation in, in recognition, which is really due to the information. There's a lot of catalogues of Tamara de Nebishka less catalogues than Marie Vassiliev. So their value is related to the amount of information we have about them. Mm. Merci. Thank you.